this was a conference that was actually presided over by Hazrat Khalifa Tun Masih Salis and this is a very historic documentary. We hope that all of you will be able to watch it and enjoy it. And uh, as, as I've already said, please remember us all in your prayers. Uh, now over to the uh, documentary itself. Thank you and Asalaamu As Alaikum. Nasir Ahmad arrived with his entourage at London Airport. He was greeted by leading members of the Ahmadiyya movement in Britain, including Bashir Ahmad Rafiq, the Imam of the London Mosque. Soon after his arrival, Hazrat Mirza Nasir Ahmad, accompanied by his wife, was escorted to the VIP lounge for a press conference to announce his arrival in the United Kingdom and his proposed attendance at the international conference. Huzul's visit and the conference established milestones for the Ahmadiyya movement in Britain and formed part of a worldwide missionary campaign. The first mosque in London was built in 1924 and the buildings alongside formed the headquarters of the Ahmadiyya movement in Great Britain. Members and followers of the movement from both the United Kingdom and from other parts of the world gathered in preparation for Hazrat Mirza Nasir Ahmad's arrival. Whilst many friends live in the United Kingdom, Others had traveled thousands of miles from the American, Asian, and African continents to be with him. Arriving by car, Hazrat Mirza Nasir Ahmad, with an agility belying his years, was anxious and eager to meet the several hundred followers who had assembled to greet him. Hazrat Mirza Nasir Ahmad is the third successor of the promised Messiah. He was born in Khadian, India in November 1909 and was elected Khalifatul Masih III in November 1965. Hazrat Mirza Nasir Ahmad is a great intellectual and memorized at a very early age the whole of the Holy Quran. He has an honors degree in Arabic from the University of the Punjab and graduated in philosophy in Arabic from Government College in Lahore. In England he studied at Balliol College, Oxford, where he took an honors degree. His knowledge of several languages enables him to converse with members of the Ahmadiyya movement in many countries. Hazrat Mirza Nasir Ahmad has brought about a great expansion in the missionary activities of the movement. And under his direction, mostly in African countries, a large number of schools, medical centers, hospitals, newspapers and magazines have been established. The institutions established by him include the Fazle Umar Foundation, the Nusrat Jahan Leap Forward Program, and the Ahmadiyya Centenary Jubilee Fund. The eagerness with which the elders of the movement and friends, both young and very young, push forward to honor Huzur was a clear demonstration not only of the high esteem in which he is held, but also of the friendly and warm personality which emanates from him. On Friday, June 2nd, 1978, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih once again attended the London Mosque for a prayer service. Not only is he the leader of the Ahmadiyya movement, but also a down-to-earth humanist 
with interests ranging from the study of bees and rose growing to the maintenance of a string of fine horses. Inside, the mosque was crowded with friends to hear Huzur on this occasion deliver a sermon and to lead the assembly in prayers. After the prayers in the mosque, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih once again met more of his friends in an informal walkabout in the gardens surrounding the headquarters of the Ahmadiyya movement in England. For the formal group photograph, Huzur with his principal colleagues sat for the host of photographers which surrounded him on every occasion. Handshaking, homage and unreserved adoration were in abundance as friends from all walks of life crowded around Huzur, confirming the popularity of the revered leader. Throughout the world, the Ahmadiyya movement has over 10 million believers, of which around 10,000 are in Britain. On the afternoon of June 